Cave Fighters. Cave Fighters is now live streaming Maker's Amp crafting finishing a crocheted cornucopia then back to working on Steven West Go Go Dynamo MKAL. Siri Bot. Siri Bot has joined a beekeeper was indicted after he confessed to years of stealing at work they charged him with MBE as Lemont. M. Bezelmont, really? <laughs> Dad joke. A one five minute ad break is starting. Thank you for sticking with us through this break. Ads help support my content. Consider subscribing to remove ads and support the stream. Oh gosh, we're not shopping Kroger. We're starting our stream. Go away. Go away. There we go. There we go. I'm a tad bit early today. It's been quite the morning. Hello, everybody. It's been quite the morning. I went out hunting. I got a deer. I drug it out of the woods. Got it on the back of the truck. Drove back home. And got the bone, got the meat off the bones, for the most part, minus the shoulders. They're still on the bone. Um, and then I plugged in the little refrigerator and got all that, all that going. Um, I'll be back in just a quick sec. Got to make sure that other refrigerator got cold. Yep, good and cold. Welcome back from ad break. Initial ad break. I am trying to finish up a cornucopia here. I'm on the last final edge. Um, I put 24, two rounds of 24 gauge wire in the row below where I'm at. But I'm kind of doing a thing. <laughs> yep, pulling up a loop, going around the crochet hook. And then finishing the single. This is giving me the look of a crab stitch without doing the crab stitch. I get my head gets confused when I try to do a crab stitch. Um. <laughs> oh, Abby, take a chill. Relax. Relax, pussycat. Relax. Mama busy. So it's been quite the adventurous busy morning um I forget how to do spoiler type of pictures in discord because I know not everybody's gonna want to see 
the deer, but I filled my Ohio tag. I'm so happy. Not a bad $15 spent. Go, that looks nice. And the wire is going to help this outer edge keep its form without collapsing on all of the fruit that will be going in it. So not only do we get a deer, but we get to finish a crochet project. Yay, Abby! Yay, Abby! Here, let me put my phone over here and get Go Go Dynamo booted up. I am drinking lemon lime and zero sugar body armor. This is actually isn't bad. I just need to um, refill the electrolytes and protein and stuff. There's protein in it. Yeah, there's protein in it. From all of my exercise this morning. Uh, my license for antlerous deer on residential property only. I'm getting another scam color. This is a, like sixth one of the day. Hello? Hello? Hi ma'am, this is Jason calling you from TV Technical Department. How are you doing today ma'am? I don't have TV. You bother me again and I'm suing your ass. Stop calling. Jeez, oh, beats. I am done with these scam colors today. First one was about my Amazon purchase. Over a thousand dollars on your Amazon account. I don't have an Amazon account. At least not one you can put credit on or anything. Yeah, sure. I checked my Amazon. It was fine. There was no, no charges. You're just yanking my leg. You're trying to yank my bank account. It ain't gonna work. And then it was about insurance. And then the same guy less than half an hour later was another insurance. I them to all because I didn't buy domain privacy from GoDaddy, so my number is floating out there. Uh, well, you know, your bank will sell your number anyway. The banks, banks sell information, credit card companies sell information. A lot of information is already free on the web, so, you know. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. I like that edge. Looks nice. Almost done. I just gotta go to there. 
Then I'll need to set it up, get a nice photo, make sure that the person wants it. Pokemon Community Game A wild Sableye appears cash it using Poke Cash winners revealed in the 90s. Sableye! Dark type. I think it's a dark poison. The Polar Yuki. Poke Cash. <coughs> oh, come on. There we go. It is. It's a dark ghost. Dark ghost, not poison. Ghost. Poke catch. Night ball. Cave fibers. Poke catch night ball. I already have all my tri Well, do I have? Yeah. No. I have all my miscatches done today. I have half my wonder trades done. I have seven of fourteen. And I've caught 6 out of 16, less than 89 kilograms for the, uh, for the missions. Oh, and I did catch the Pokemon. I hope you got it too, Polar Newbie. Newbie? And you got a rock? Nice. Very nice. Bonus. Nice bonus. It's been a pretty good adventurous morning. I was out in the near the woods. I wasn't actually in the woods Here's until I had to clean the deer. <laughs> I started a little early. Redeem first. Congrats, Mirror. Nice. I was uh yeah, out in the wood by 7 a.m. And I was back home by 8.30 with a deer. I've already got it off the bone and in the fridge. Our little spare fridge. Usually my egg fridge. Yeah, I filled my Ohio tag. I am... I'm out of tags in Ohio. I just have one left in Michigan. And yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I did it all myself. I did the field, stop pulling it out. I did the field dressing and everything. I drug it to the truck. I got it in the back of the truck. <laughs> I got it home. I rinsed the cavity out with the hose. Um, set up the the lift in the back of the truck it was a small dough if you want to see it I did take a picture of it um, I don't think the picture is too gory but there might be a little blood if that doesn't gross anybody else anybody out I will show you um, I took a selfie too while I was out there because mm, I just had to I'm proud of myself I was scared to do it all, but I did it all. I am okay with it personally. There it is. That's where my arrow went in and it came out um, on the hip on the other side. So for the angle that I had, 
I, I think it was a perfect shot. I am so happy. I'm putting meat in the freezer and gosh darn it, I know my husband does not You're like... Oh my gosh, you went bow hunting. I went bow hunting this shepherd. morning, yes. My arms are sore. <laughs> my arms are a little sore. But I did it all by myself. I even got all the meat off the phone. I got the butchering mostly done. Um, I'll have to finish up the butchering, you know, making steak. Um, the I think the rump was a little small. So I probably won't do a rump roast. But a lot of good fajita meat. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. And thing was, there were three bigger does in the area. I kept hearing them, and I'm like, that's bigger than the squirrel. And I kept watching them running around and just playing and romping and having a great time. And I thought, okay, I am just going to sit here until they settle down. And then I kept hearing one off to my right, kept grunting and Oof, kept going, Oof. And I'm like, okay, you know I'm here. <laughs> and so I just, I cut my, my bow up and I'm holding it and holding it and holding it. I, I used a crossbow. So I'm holding it. I took uh, the safety off. I'm waiting and waiting. Very exciting time, DJ. Oh my gosh, my morning. Oh my gosh, my arms hurt so bad. So I waited and waited, and then this one came right up to me. Well, it was only like 15, maybe 20 feet away. I'm like, oh, that's pretty close. I know there's bigger ones, but I don't think I can drag a bigger one out by myself. So I went ahead and took the shot. And then uh, one hung around it for a little while as I, I took my my seat and my crossbow back to the truck kept my backpack because i knew my field dressing uh tools were in there and uh, as well as my harness dragger but i didn't use the harness dragger i just grabbed the front legs and and drug it out i didn't have to walk that far i'm proud of myself i am so proud of myself I'm so happy. I filled my tag. It was worth the $15 tag. <laughs> now I need to get the one in Michigan. That's a $170 tag. Because it's, you know, out of state. Out of state licenses suck. I tell ya. Expensive. But it's private land. Very exciting. Yes. Yes, yes. All right. Exciting. It is very exciting. I was so happy. And then, you know, I wasn't even there. I was there for a whole hour and a half the whole time to get set up, make sure I could see clearly, know what my backstops were. I lost, I didn't, I didn't go look for my arrow though. I need to go look for my arrow. <laughs> Woo! It's this the shot I had it went in behind in behind the You're a the leg. I am very proud, ha -ha. And out on the other side, so I hit a lot I missed the heart, you but I hit all shit. lung. That um Oh yeah, that adrenaline. I was shaking, I was hearing my heart in my ears. I'm like, oh I was so nervous going out by myself anyway. I think that's right. I just need to secure this on the inside. And get it woven in. And this can be considered done. I think. I'm pretty sure. Ah, so all that excitement. Then I get home. And of course um, my arrow went... It went straight through the body. 
Um, unfortunately, it did break open the gut. So I needed to get it home as quickly as I possibly could so I can get the cavity. I was going to say, oh, oh, cornucopia, but heard more exciting things. <laughs> yes, yes. Very exciting. A very exciting morning. I'm so, I'm so ecstatic. It's like, yes, I did it all myself. I did it all by myself. I was worried about the, getting the field dressing done as quickly as I could because I hit gut and you don't want the acids of the gut getting into your meat. So I had to, I had to do it all right away. Um, woohoo! Yes! Yes! Alright. And I put wire around the outside edge on the cornucopia. It's done finish something. I, I'm pretty sure I have it big enough to where I could get the fruit in here in such a way you know like it's spilling out at least a couple of them in there. Maybe the banana shoved down in there and then of course your orange is gonna spill out and then there's the grapes. Yeah, I I love these grapes. I want to make more of these grapes. I think they're fantastic. I want to do like the green grapes, which I can, which would be about the same. <gasps> Duck Tina is here. <gasps> it's only one o'clock. Duck Tina is here. It's such a lucky day. Such a lucky day. <gasps> Quack. Okay, I'll need to get a picture of this eventually. So, I, I'm sorry if I'm wound up. I am very wound up today. My arms hurt. <laughs> oh, my arms hurt so bad. And my lower, my lower back hurts too from all of this extra exercise. I've gotten my exercise in today. I can say that much. Okay, I need to weigh this one. That hurts done. Okay to Whew, so exciting. I hate to fold it up that way because of the wire in it. But I need to record this. I'm spending the day with my mother in law and the Peggy until my husband gets off of work to save on gas. Oh, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, what do we weigh? Two point eight four Got a deer, finished cornucopia. C O P I A. I can spell two point eight four ounces. Copia. We saw Peggy yesterday and he was more excited to see my husband. Oh, oh good. Oh good. There we go. Okay, this should be able to Oh good. I think this I think that was a good wire good choice to go with wire on the inside. It is poking out right here. Let's see if we can get that to poke down in. Should be another end here. I actually, it was only 24 gauge wire, but I wrapped it around twice. I said your daddy, now my husband said I object. Oh! <laughs> Lady Cricket Bug, <laughs> Lady cricket bug thank you. Thank you. Exciting morning. So many sparkles. Lady Cricket Bug, enjoy your beautiful work. Lady Cricket Bug. So many beautiful sparkles. Cave fibers. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to locate uh, some type of calculator. Yes, Miss Abby. Take a chill pill. 2.84 times 
point seventy one. What are you doing? Not now. Can't you see I'm busy? Okay. It's 144.02 yards. Alright, I don't use this thing other than the calculator. <gasps> Another Pokemon! Catch that Pokemon! Ooh, I hope you do too! Need to find it. Mirror stepper. Go catch great ball. DJ Kyoto 96. Go catch. Cave fibers. Go catch premier ball. I did not catch it. I don't even know if I even have this Pokemon. T-O-G. Oh, I do have one. Fairy and Wing. Abby, what are you doing? What you doing, Pussycat? What you think you're doing, Pussycat? What you think you're doing? I know you want attention. I'm giving you attention. Did you not want some muffins? Mm, did you Pokemon not want muffins? Mm. Oh, congrats, Mirror. Then off with you. Here, have a snack. It's probably what you wanted anyway. Okay, we're going to just set that on top of the bowl. Could almost be a witch's hat. Look at that. Ho, ho. You made a witch's hat. Forget cornucopia. Knit a girl redeem it. Second. Congrats. Let's let's go. <laughs> cornucopia for hat. <laughs> I'm being silly. Oops, Pokemon's already gone. It's a question mark now. <laughs> You're welcome, congrats. Twelve and a half ounce bats. Peggy is digging behind the pillow, no idea why. Ah. Knitter girl. Hello, pet polar nookie. The polar nookie. Let's see. Yeah, I was slow on the uptake, was trying to finish my row, haha. DJ Kyoto 96. Hello, knitter girl. The polar nookie. Hey, knitter girl. Knitter girl. Hello, mirror. So it's alpaca, not llama. Mirror stepper. Hey, knitter girl. Mirror stepper. Yes, alpaca. Let's see. Mirror stepper. I don't think I have ever done llama. It's very soft and it has a lot of fly flyaways. Uh, llama's pretty close to the same as alpaca, only not quite as not quite as silky, but very close, very very close. Um, I don't know why I know processing price. That's not what I'm not what I'm looking for. In the U.S., alpaca fiber seems widely dependently in local color. Blah 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 blah. Uh, 
Um, it says ten dollars a pound. Ten dollars a pound. So ten dollars for sixteen ounces is the going rate currently. Okay, I am trying to calm myself back down. <laughs> Getting back to. DJ Back, I don't. Well, Peggy was on the pillow. My son flipped over the pillow. Ah. Depress, <laughs> lol. Depress. Okay, I think I'm still very much so deer hype. Up oh, nitpicks. Just sent me a message. Friends and family exclusive, 20% off site wide for you. Use code to save. I don't need yarn right now, nitpicks, but thank you. Um, okay, let's see. Knit three. Pearl to the last three. Okay. If anything calms me, I think <laughs> working on the shawl will calm me. Because it's like 300 and what? 300 and... What am I at? 351 stitches currently. Repeat two rows twice more resulting in eight rows of contrast color. Okay, eight rows. Oops, let's... Uh, get it up on the pendulum I need to cake up the rest of this brown oh I also did a thing I also did a thing the uh, impkin I made this flower a while ago and since this impkin's neck just wants to be all lopsy flopsy I, I stuck it on an old short knitting needle. I don't even know what size this knitting needle is. It is a little warped too. I'm just sticking it down through here. Getting just the right angle to also go through the neck. And down in. Down into a leg. There. Oops. I missed the leg. <laughs> I missed the leg. Twist the needle. There we go. Because the needle's warped. And that way, it'll hold its head up good. And you have... You have a little spike here. You can put it down into like a flower bed or something. And have a little impkin hanging out. That's very cute. I thought it was a cute idea to do, to do. I love the flower on it. It grabs a little, gives it a little more character. I saw it sitting here and it's like, oh yeah, I did a, a small little thing with that. And since we're carrying this yarn up the side on this side, we'll keep it enclosed in the I-cord edge along this side. We'll keep it enclosed there. I mean, 350 stitches is a lot to go across. But we don't know. I don't even know what shape this thing is going to be when it's done. So this is only clue two, or clue one. Clue 2 comes out on Thursday, and here we're already Tuesday, and I'm not done with Clue 1. It's almost a little embarrassing. I feel like I'm behind. I feel like I'm so behind. Welcome back from Ants. <laughs> I was just saying, I feel like I'm behind on this. Here it's already Tuesday. I have Weaving Guild meeting tonight, so I can't process the rest of the deer. Um... I might, I might get to some of it tomorrow. And then uh, my father-in-law said that next week Tuesday, or next week Wednesday, looks like a good day um, to get out and hunt in Michigan with crossbow. So 
I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna go up on Tuesday um, spend the night see how things go on Wednesday and then um, I don't know if I'll be coming back Wednesday or Thursday so not much streaming going on next week my apologies but if I fill that tag in Michigan I'll be done. I won't have to go out in the freezing, freezing cold of uh, snowy November to get a deer. So, yeah, but Hubby still has a tag, but it'll be up to him to uh, go fill his tag. But, yeah, I got an Ohio deer. I'm, I'm super hyped about that. super hyped <clears throat> I do need to go back out to the woods though and see if I can find my arrow it has a uh, the end the tip on the tip end on it um, is it lights up so I'll see it better when it gets darker but I don't know how long that little battery's gonna last So I don't know if it'll still be lit up when I get out there. But if I lose an arrow, you know, I lose an arrow. It's fine. It's not like I don't have a bunch more. But I would like to retrieve it. <laughs> it did its job. It needs to be framed up on the wall because it did its job. Right next to the picture or just under the picture of the deer. Is it is my lucky arrow. I gotta go fetch it. I gotta go fetch it. I've been hunting Ohio for three years and this is the first time I've, I've gotten to bag one. So I'm very happy. I'm very thrilled. <laughs> but if we fill all of our tags, then I will have extra meat to play with in order to do some jerky or maybe I'll try some sausage. Um, yeah, yeah. I will have stuff to share. Maybe I can make a nice Christmas package of jerky. We'll see, we'll see. We have to, we need at least one more in our fridge, one more in the freezer. Um, one medium sized one and one small one is not enough to hold us for all all year um but if i can get another nice one um another nice dough it would be awesome a good size another medium dough would hold us probably for all year and then if husband fills his tag then that would make for um for excess to be able to share and you know make jerky and do things do things with shareable meat so excited oh I do have to end stream early today too that's why I started half an hour early although I need to I need to end by 4 30 the latest I need to leave the house by five <clears throat> 400 yards of DK weight enough for a kid's sweater I'm not sure. Maybe a baby sweater. Depends on, um, depends on one, the pattern. If you're looking for a sweater, you're looking for a cardigan. <coughs> yeah, what, what size sweater are you looking for? We can, we can, we can, there's a chart we can look at. Mirror stepper. Youngest is SM kids, AMD older is LXL.
Small medium. Yeah, maybe the small medium. Comprehensive guide. It says three hundred to five hundred yards. Pokemon community game. So if you had another hundred yards, it would be enough for a toddler size. Mirror stepper. Pokecash. Knicker girl. What yarn are you using for the sweater mirror? Cave fibers. Go cash. Knicker girl. Go cash level ball. Yes, let's Pokemon go. Let's community. get that Pokemon. Girl, you don't own that ball shed the extension to see your items. Who will catch that Pokemon? Not me, that's yet another mess. My misses and the missions are already complete. <laughs> Today is this week seems like a week of missing miss catching Pokemon. And we need eleven misses. I'm up to thirteen. <laughs> Enough misses already. Pokemon community game. Slow poke escape, no one caught it. Ugh, really? Come on, PCG. Mirror stepper. Rude PCG. Oh, very, very, very. Mask Panda 236. Miss Panda, hello. <laughs> I was in your stream this morning. I am still reeling with that deer this morning. It's still, still pretty hyped up. <laughs> so excited to have uh, claimed my own deer and have done everything with it. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it counts for attempts, but you know, I already have all the attempts I need. <laughs> uh, I filled those in Mass Bandit stream this morning. And I also did a, a couple more trades in her stream too. I hope you feel better today, Mass Bandit. Have a lot to do, I understand. Hello, Mass Bandit 236. Mirror Stepper. <laughs> Go do your trades. Get your poke daily. I'm going to lurk while I do my adulting. All right, all right. I understand. You've got lots to do. I will have to finish up deer processing. Finish up the the butchering probably tomorrow. At least get some of it done tomorrow. I won't have time tonight. I have a uh, weaving guild tonight. <clears throat> and they're starting this whole thing about um, making clothing out of your fabric that you make out of your handwoven fabric. So it should, should be interesting. Should be interesting. I don't have very many sewing patterns, but I would love to do that someday. I don't feel like I have time to do that right now. But, ah, who knows? Anything's possible, right? Oh my. That's Mia snoring. If you, I'm sure you, <laughs> I'm sure you hear her. 
No. Poor baby, super tired. Hello, knitter girl. Again? Knitter girl. Sleepy brain. Oh, <laughs> you already claimed second. Mirror beat you to first today. Should be three left. This one here doesn't quite look right. There. It's able to fix it though. And I'm repeating those rows. These tails are gonna bug me. I feel like I need to take a moment and weave in these tails. So even husband was excited. He even came home to take care of my carcass. <laughs> it's like, good job, honey. Look, I'm so proud of myself. Did it all by myself. Oh, are they? Oh, gosh. It's a big city to evacuate. Mia's eat, or Abby's eating snacks. This is the back side. That's enough with that one. Scissors, scissors, I got scissors somewhere. That one was kind of long. Should have tried to weave them in when I was... I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't weave that in as I was going. I most well, certainly could have. I did all the other sections. <sighs> Hello? Hello? on them. Another scam color. Seventh one of the day. I swear I need to do a row counter on them because i got too many of them. Probably because we uh, paid off a credit card so now they're going to bug the heck out of me. I went the wrong way. I need to go this way. Go that way and make a knot. <clears throat> we paid off one of our oldest credit cards. 
and they kept bugging us about making purchases and things on this credit card and we kind of took a credit hit by closing that account I didn't like the way they were bothering me all the time to make purchases with their card they had a higher interest rate they refused to lower the interest rate so it's like okay then close the account are you sure yep close the account I'm done with you bothering me close the account you don't want to lower the APR and you want to call and bug me. So we're just going to close it. But we've been paying other credit cards down so it didn't take long for our credit to go right back up. So it wasn't that much of a, not that much of a loss. See that one I wove in. That one I wove in. Okay, that was the only tail end I needed to weave in. All right. Back to the knitting. I'm going to knit one. And then the second one, I'm going to bring up the other color. Kind of loop it around the working yarn. That way it gets enclosed in the eye cord and I, it draws it up as well. Says to make one. I watched in the video where he made one and he just did a backwards loop. I've been pulling up a stitch to make one. I don't know. Unless there's no right or wrong way. Two, three, four. So this is five. Three more rows, three more rows. Push all my stitches down. It's fine. We'll try to keep that one from getting tangled in. Hopefully I can finish clue one today. That would be nice. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to work on. Maybe another impkin. Um, I haven't quite figured out the amigurumi Christmas trees I want to do. Maybe I could give her the Christmas gnomes. I don't know. else do I have that would be Christmassy? A general, kind of general Christmassy without getting too Christian. You know what I mean? It's me, what I do for mine is... Well, and I need to fill a space that's like 10 and a half inches high. It's for like a, a bookshelf in an office. She has an empty shelf and she wants to fill that shelf with um, something for each, something to represent each month. Like maybe for April, we could do a, a big cloud with drops coming off of it. Or uh, maybe an umbrella. Maybe an impkin holding an umbrella. Hey, that's an idea. Use a longer, longer knitting needle. Have it come out and holding an umbrella above an impkin. 
That would be super. Now, yeah. Now I'm thinking. I have so many long, knit, straight knitting needles. That would be a good way to use them, right? Right? <gasps> yes. Oh gosh, I'm looking around at what other tools and things do I have about that I can uh, repurpose. Yeah. <gasps> A wild dodrio oh, Dodrio. Dodrio. I probably be already have one. I have six more <laughs> premier balls. Let me throw one of those. Dodrio. I have two of them. They are a common wing. Although, how a three headed bird is common, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how a three headed bird is uh, a common thing. Not sure about that. Oh, I did catch it. Yay! Second catch of the day. Well, technically third, because I caught one in a Mass Bandit stream this morning. This early afternoon. That was great to hang out in her stream as I was getting things set up and figuring out the edge and the cornucopia. I decided, hey, I can start early. I need to end early anyway, because I have Weaving Guild to go to this evening. Pokemon community game. Dodrio has been caught by Knitter Girl Cave Fibers. Yay! Congrats, Knitter Girl. You got it too. Sorry, Mirror. I'm sorry you didn't catch it too. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That leaf pile just kind of coordinates with the uh, overlay there. Knitter Girl. Looks good. Thank you. Sorry you didn't make it into the pile though. I can't believe we're into the second week of no October already. I almost said November. The second week of October already. Ay ay ay. you have meds to take, don't forget to take your meds. I am going to take a, a mixture of one Tylenol and one Ibuprofen. Maybe that will uh, help my back a little bit. It's going to say though, for lunch, I had the freshest meat ever. Never frozen. Tenderloin steaks with eggs. Fresh eggs, fresh steak. Oh, it was delicious. My husband doesn't like the tenderloins. They have a little bit, a little bit of a different texture to the meat. Oh, but it was so good. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> tenderloins didn't even get refrigerated. Nope. It was delicious. Got my tag all filled out and that taken care of. I want to frame it. I printed it out. Maybe I should create like a, a hunting journal. I'm into journal making. Still haven't made a single one, but <laughs> am I getting ahead of myself? <laughs> Maybe just a little. <laughs> I don't know. So many ideas. Too many ideas flowing. Too many things I want to do and get done.
I don't know, maybe I'll only stream till 3 o'clock today. So I got about an hour to go hunt for my arrow before I need to leave. I don't know how long that tip is going to stay lit. You're a stepper. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way it could solicit hubby's help after he gets home. I think that will be the plan. shall be the plan. Oh. Scammer called it, didn't even ring once, and they hung up. It doesn't do any good to block them because, you know, they're stealing numbers anyway. They're just going to call you from another number. Changing your number won't <laughs> do any difference either. Cozy! Thank you so much. Up. Just in time for the ad. It's in time for that. You're a yeah. Maybe I should grab a package and see how long it. Well, it, that tip is probably a year or two old, too. Yeah, yeah, you know. I want to talk to you about your insurance and your TV service and yeah. Sorry, you called me. I am not talking to you on the phone about my insurance. I am not telling you how old I am because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. Oh, and they left a message. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they barely call. If so, my mother has one that has been ringing for about five years. It went straight, straight to voicemail. Beep boop, I am a robot. I am here to charge up and steal your electricity, beep beep. <laughs> Siri bot. The ad break is finishing now. Stolen number. Zero, nine, two. Hey, let's... Duration, six seconds. Six seconds. And they didn't even say anything. To erase. Message erased. They didn't even... Sent today. Neem Toad, hello and welcome. At 1.47 p.m. From phone number 98... Oh, there's more than one. Eight... Zero zero eight one seven nine. Duration thirty seven seconds. Hey, it's Jessica. I'm calling you from Tax Resolution Center. Go ahead and give me a call back at eight five five. Not message erased. I'm not calling you back. End of new messages. I'm great. To listen to your messages. Press one. No, nope, that's it. <laughs> Apparently, there were two of them. Cozy vibes gamer. Hey, Steve, you on high? Oops, you know what? Oh gosh. I forgot to increase on the side. Steve. Hi, Upcycly. How are you? I'm like, who's Steve? <laughs> What a happy baby girl. 
I I am excellent. I am just a stolen name. <laughs> yeah, a stolen name. Hey, it's Steve. Hey, it's Pam. Hey, it's you know Alex. Alex was the last one. I told him if he keeps calling me, I'm gonna start suing, suing for harassment because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Stop calling me. And now they don't even let you answer and go straight to voicemail. This is the whole whole thing. And then they don't even leave a message. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, this was a whole thing today. I'm all hyped up this morning because I went deer hunting. I was out there. <gasps> oh no. Well, happy birthday. I'm sorry you got the flu. That's horrible for your birthday. <laughs> sorry, Cozy. I'm gonna, gonna deny that one. <laughs> yep, I have a smart butt. Happy birthday. My, my butt is my butt is very smart. Sorry. Sometimes it's smarter than my brain. Thank you. At least I got a chocolate muffin. Oh, nice. That sounds good. Hmm. Abby's being the whiniest of whiny butts. But anyway, I um I got a deer this morning. I didn't see I, oh, I know. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so I need to go there and back again one more time. After this row. Then we'll do the... The, what does he call it? Bobble? Bubble? Bubble? Go Go Dynamo! <laughs> I don't feel like I picked Go Go Dynamo colors. I go working and not talk. Oh, that's okay. You're fine. You can talk all you want. I don't care. I mean, just, just don't do the... Just, you know... Stay away from the bad languages. We are a, a PG stream here. As much as we can, anyway. You know, where does slip out here and there? A yellow hat. Okay. I think I think I can accommodate a yellow hat. Um, last time it was red, so I still have the red one on top. Uh, does that work? <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey, Bluey. We are having an awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. We went hunting this morning. <laughs> and came home with a, a deer. I've already uh, done a lot of the butchering, so it's off the bone. Um, and I've already disposed of the carcass. Husband come and took it. Thank you, Bluey, for redeeming third. Congrats. Nicely done. So, that's okay. You're fine. You're fine. We've been having a fantastic morning. <gasps> it's a turtle. It's a turtle. I have three of them. <laughs> You'll have to try that one. Deer? Yes. Go catch timer ball. 
It, it is a rock and water, so even a, a stone ball could probably work. Thank you. It was uh, redeemed. Hat redeem of yellow, so I figured minion hat qualifies, right? Ooh, I caught it. Nice. We are having an awesome day. Awesome morning. I filled my deer tag this morning. Brought it home. I already have it off the bone and already uh, already ate the tenderloins. Happy to hear that. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled. That's at least another, I don't know, 20 pounds of meat in our freezer. That has been caught by <sighs> Nobody else caught it, really? PCG, you're killing me. Yeah. So I had uh, steak and eggs for lunch because I didn't have breakfast. Had tenderloin with eggs. It was fantastic. Didn't get, you know, neither one got any fresher. <laughs> Got fresh chicken eggs, fresh venison. It was so good. So good. I feel so hyped up. And then father-in-law invited me to come up next Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, the hunt is Wednesday, but I need to be there uh, Tuesday evening. So I will leave Tuesday afternoon and get up there and be ready for the hunt for Wednesday morning. I don't know if I'm, I don't know which direction I'm going to go in. I don't know if I'm going to go to the in-laws or if I'm going to just meet him up there. I have not discussed that part with him yet, but I will. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Cozy vibes gamer. I'm attempting a clown knitting. You're attempting knitting a clown? Nice. I dressed up as a minion for Halloween once. That's why I have a minion hat. <laughs> That's why I saw it and I started laughing. Oh. Can always lower the neck. Make it into a V-knock. Can always adjust that. Especially if it's a top down like um, barley, like a barley. Is it barley? What is the other one? What is the one by Tim Can Nets? Um, no, not scary. Just funny. B -b Banana. They're silly. Minions are silly. Funny in a silly way. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. They're funny in a silly way. Gamer. Oh. <laughs> Somebody redeemed wear a yellow hat, so I'm wearing a yellow hat. Just happens to be a minion. Although I'm not feeling like a minion today. They, I made some meat today. It's the small dough. Cozy vibes game. But it's okay. I believe hides. <laughs> why why are you hiding, Cozy? I see you over there. I see you. Can't hide from me. I see you.
You're you're right there. You're right there. Boop. You're right there. I just booped you. Just booped ya. Cozy vibes gamer. Wow, the TV. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> I'll break out the cake. That'll that'll bring you out of hiding. It's gonna be called a, a venison steak cake. Cozy vibes gamer. No, not the boobs. Not the boobs. Yes, cake. Cake. Mimi Toad 93. I am going to a renaissance fair in December, Ooh. so I am doing some research on what I can wear to keep warm. Did you know that knitting originated in between 500 and 1200 AD Egypt, but crocheting emerged only in the 19th century? I didn't even know there was such a huge difference. There is, but, but isn't. Um... I thought crochet started before the 1900s or 19th century. Yes. <laughs> Not if it has venison or fresh eggs in it. The fresh eggs are the best. I was watching a streamer yesterday. She made devil eggs and then she took these these little sausages, cut the ends off of two of them. Sorry, not shook eggs. <laughs> anyway. I know where they once were. And she she gave the deviled eggs a weenie with balls. I thought, well, that's silly. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't like those little sausages. You get one free sub to a Twitch streamer per month. Support your favorite streamer, even if it isn't me. I don't really care for those little sausages. Not sure if I want to try and knit myself gloves in the head with very rough natural wool, or if I want to make something out of a piece of fur. Oh, well, why don't you make a pair of mittens with neps? Those are the warmest pair of gloves you will ever, ever own. Not nips, nups, but nups. You take a piece of wool, um, just long enough to do a single stitch. Here, I got some here. You just take a piece of wool, as thick or thin as you need it, fold it over, knit it in, so that'll be one knit stitch, and then you knit two of another color, and then you'll take more knop, knit it in, and then you have all this fluff on the inside of your mitten that ends up getting felted on the inside and it's so warm and cozy so warm and cozy I need to make myself another pair of those mine are about wore out <clears throat> um, you see I have the pattern in my phone Okay, okay, okay. Is there a pattern for that? There is a pattern for that. Let me bring it up and I'll post it in Discord. Let me bring it up. Because I need to make myself another pair. I love those. They're super warm. They're great. And I made mine big enough to wear... I could also put um, like stretch gloves, the fingered stretch gloves on first and then slip my hand in there. Super duper warm. Knit Companion is going super duper slow. Cozy Vibes Gamer. I'm going to get going now. Ah, are you ready? 
Cozy Vibes Gamer. Well, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Cozy Vibes Gamer, enjoy your beautiful work. Thrum, there. Thrum, thrum mittens. Right here. It's just little thrums. You're so there. warm. So cozy. Oh, these are the crocheted ones. So the the outside looks like this and the inside looks like this. But all of this ends up getting felted. Oh, so warm and cozy. Warm and cozy. Even though they're crocheted, they're they're super warm and cozy. Now there is a knit pattern too. Um, let's see, this is by Brenda KB Anderson. Let me get a link for that. I think I got them off of Ravelry. Patterns. I'm going to click on knit and crochet and just type in thrum mittens. Bum, bum, bum. Here's classic. Oh, let me um, bring it over here so y'all can see. This is Thrum Mittens. The pattern is $8. This is the knit pattern. Same idea. Just have the thrums in it. Do you want a link to that one? Copy, Discord, um, okay, it's not a free pattern, where do I put it? I'll just put it in general. Do you want the crocheted version too or just the knit version? Hello, Cozy Vibes Gamer. Go back. See, there's so many. Let me go down here and click on free. Look, there's free ones. There's free. You don't got don't pay don't pay attention to that one. We're gonna we're gonna take that one out of Ravelry or out of out of there. Um, delete, delete. Don't don't buy a pattern when you can get one for free. Seriously, you can use whatever thrum you want. Here's a free pattern. It's knit. Thrums. They use a US 4 3.5 millimeter. There you go. Perfect. Let's copy that one and let's paste that one under free patterns. Free patterns. Paste. Okay. Go back and we'll see if we can find a crochet. Thrum mittens. That's the one I got right there. This is the one I've made several times. I love, love, love that pair of mittens. So I'm going to copy that and I'm also going to paste that in Discord. So you have your choice of whether you want to knit them or crochet them. I love the crocheted ones. They're thicker, they're warmer. Very lovely. That's my, my favorite thrummed mittens. See, it's in my knit companion. <laughs> It's in my knit companion. That because it's my favorite pair, and I need to make need to make another pair. But I want to finish the Stephen West first. And I still got things to make. We need to do another Imkin yet because we have the have the we have the little cloak for one, but we didn't. Uh, Decided it wasn't good for the one we had.
I'm just gonna throw a regular poke ball. Okay. Amy took 93. Thank you. I love learning stuff like this, and my hands are always cold. I bet this would work great for socks. It would work awesome for socks if you have room in your shoes or boots for them. Okay. Definitely. I'm gonna take a quick little break and run to the restroom. Um. Maybe time to get up and stretch. I'll be right back in a little bit. I hope y'all catch the Pokemon. I'll be right back. Mimi took 93. I was thinking more like home socks as we call them super thick socks that double as shoes to wear indoors. Upsy Shay. Poke catch. Pokemon community game. Espar has been caught by Mirror Stepper. Oh, and Doug Tina's just hanging out. Yay, Mirror caught it. Yay. Congrats. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I missed. Me too. I have too many misses. Yeah, let's get that off of there. I have too many misses. I have 15 misses. <laughs> Duck going wild. Oh my gosh. I love that she's hanging out more and more though. I wonder if I created a little space for her if she would use it. I have a glass table that's been sitting on my back patio. We don't use it. It's just sitting there. It's getting rusty. I wonder if I put clarify when you said the inside of the mittens will be felted. Do you mean I have to do that or does that just happen through wearing them? It it happens naturally with wear, yeah. It'll like mold to your hand. It's great. Yeah, I was thinking like a an old shower curtain. 
it'll be starting here in about 40 seconds. I was thinking about taking an old shower curtain and putting over the top and draping down to one side. Oh. Yeah. They're nice. Thanks, Knitter Girl. Let's go. Yes. TCC is the Crafty Collective. Okay, I need to go there and back again. And that, I'm just going to leave that right where it's at. I think. Uh, maybe want to toss it over. I want to toss it over. That means I will need to detangle a little. We'll be using that eventually. I just wanted to toss it over so it stays in the eye cord edge. So this is another increased row. Get increase right here. I think he just did a backwards loop, but I've been picking up the stitch and doing an actual make one. Granted, make one left, but it's fine. I don't think it's going to matter that much. Ad break! Ad break. I need to put more food in that bird feeder. Duck is at the back patio. She's sunning herself. She's just laying in the sun. Welcome back from ads. I was just saying the duck is on the back patio just laying in the sun. Just laying there. Looks like she's going to take a nap. Wish I had a little pool or pond I can do do up for her. Nice. Ooh, they would be soft and silky and warm. They're also fairly absorbent. Every time I wear my wool socks, I have to make sure I put foot cream on first. The stains where there are only two of each color, I may just make them into socks. That sounds great. Are they um, sock weight or are they thicker? If they're thicker, they'd probably be better at slippers instead of socks, but you can make them like socks. Let's make slipper socks. Mirror stepper. 
They are like sport, maybe. Yeah, I would do something more like slipper socks with them then. Alpaca socks are not nice at all. They are horrible. You should get rid of them. I will help you. Just send them to me. You're welcome. Yeah, don't don't listen to Neem Toad. Mirror stepper, too thick for what shoes you think. Well, uh, depends on if you have larger shoes that fit loosely. Then, uh, <laughs> and then yeah. Unless you go up on your shoe size, they would, your shoes, it'll be tight on your shoes. Because that would make them a, a bit thicker. They'd be warmer. They'd be great in like snow boots. Yeah. I have one pair of shoes that I bought the next size up and they fit loosely on purpose. Yeah, snow boot socks. Uh huh, uh huh. They will also felt. They made husband a pair and uh, they were brown. And um, yeah, they went through the wash and the dry. So now they fit me and now they are my boot socks. You don't want felting, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want felting. That will make them super thick. But yeah. I can grab the black pair. The black pair was wool. I know right where those are at. Make sure your shoes are the proper fit. They're pretty well worn because I've worn them for the last several years, but these were my husband's socks, but they felted down to more my foot. And you could tell the bottoms are getting shiny. A little wear here on the heel. You're a stepper. But oh my goodness, they do they're, small. They're th Yes, I have a small foot foot. Thank you. Yeah, I have uh, nieces and nephews whose feet are bigger than mine. Yeah, I have small feet. I could get a pair of socks out of a 50 gram ball and have a little left over. Mirror stepper. Nice. Mirror stepper. You are nice. Yep. <laughs> I think I want to try to make my family socks for Christmas. My grandma used to do that, but she died this year. What do you Aww. think? Should I learn knitting or crocheting? Knitting make knitting makes better socks. Knitting makes better socks. Crochet is great for some things. Um, I personally don't care for crocheted socks because it's like walking on a bunch of little pebbles, and that hurts the bottom of my feet. So I I prefer the knit socks. But a lot of times too, I will knit the foot part. Let me grab this pair of socks again. I will knit the foot part, get past the heel flap. If you do a heel flap, heel turn, whatever. When you're going back in the round for the, the, the leg and the cuff, I like to do those in crochet. And then come back and do the, the ribbing and knit. That's one thing I do like to do too. That is one of my faves. Pokemon community game. A wild Taylor appears cash at music. Taylo! I know I have a couple of those. Mimi Toad 93. Oh, cash. Mirror Stepper. Oh, cash. Mimi Toad 93. Are socks hard to make for a knitting beginner? Um. 
You can use uh, vanilla pair of socks just to get the dust of how it's made. Okay. Taylor was a, a common wing. Common Pokemon with a wing. Sardum, I am a very new knitter and the very first sock was awful. <laughs> Vanilla socks. Cave fibers. Oak catch. Mirror stepper. But it's getting better rapidly. Mirror yeah, stepper. Well, anything takes I practice. Been better for me. Mimi Tug 93. Vanilla socks, I don't want to eat them, and if I did, I'd prefer chocolate chip socks. No, 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 no. Vanilla means, um. Sock lady has a tutorial on socks. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have tutorials on socks on YouTube. Vanilla sock just means like a basic sock um, without any kind of stitch pattern or lacy cable kind of stuff going on. Just just a basic sock. That's what vanilla means, just basic. Congrats, Knitter Girl. You caught that, that Taylor. Sorry, everyone. Nah, that's fine. You're good. I didn't need it anyway. <laughs> no, sorries. no, don't be sorry. No sorries. You're good. It's fine. So the stream will end here in probably about half an hour. It's shorter than no normal. I'm sorry. Not doing four hours today. I need to go find my arrow. Yeah, just just give it a try. If anything, it'll be a, a slipper sock. That's fine. Even if you use worsted yarn and just, you know, knit your first pair that way. It's all good. It's a good way to good way to try. So I guess I'm not gonna finish this today. Before, but many years ago that wasn't so hard, but socks seem more complicated. Ah, yes, I know you're knitting in the round. For socks. Yeah, two. 2.25 millimeter if you're using sock weight yarn um, or fingering weight is also what it's called um, but if you want to start out with worsted weight yarn and I would use either a US 6 or a US 7 for socks so for 4 millimeter Mimi Toad 93. Or four and a half millimeter. Oh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Four millimeter. Depends on depends on the yarn you find Mimi to Toad use. But I'll figure it out. We're always here to help if you need help. If you need somebody to ask questions in person, look me up in the discords. I'd be happy to hang out in Discord with you and help you work through it. Uh -huh. I try my best. I love it when people want to make something. I think handmade things are the best. <laughs> Give yourself a little more credit than that. Yep, yep. There's always a learning curve to everything. It doesn't matter what you're doing. And sometimes some things just come naturally. Like me and spinning, making yarn. That just came naturally. Came so naturally to me. Oops, I forgot to increase again. Second time in a row on the side. Mimi Toad 93. I will end up trapped in the yarn like a fly in a spider web. Aw, well I hope not. 
we'll come bail you out. We'll come, we'll come help you untangle it. Get yourself out of that spider web. We're here to help. We like to help. Okay. Finish this row. That finishes that part. The video linked at the beginning of the story is a street out of the below. Okay, no big deal. Using mink color. So I only have four more rows to do after this row, and I will be caught up. So whether I finish it by the end of stream or not, um, maybe I can finish it tonight. If not, tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll work on something else tomorrow during stream. And then Thursday we'll be back at this because Clue 2 will be out on Thursday. I can't believe it's Tuesday already. I keep thinking about where my arrow could have possibly have gone. I hope I find it. I gotta find my lucky arrow. I can't believe it either. A 97. A 97 on, on what? Oh, and your drop. Nice. I didn't even look up. I heard the drop, but I didn't look up to see it. If you don't nice. find your lucky arrow, it means that it was found by someone else who needed that luck more. Oh, oh really? Hmm. I just think the woods would claim it. Might be buried in the leaves somewhere. The leaves are falling out there. Amy told 93. Maybe the woods needed some love. Maybe. Maybe Mama Deer claimed it. Elizabeth Pandish, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Fiber family and the craziness of today. <laughs> thank you so much. Hope you enjoy your... I hope you enjoy the Fiber family. I am thirsty. Let's take a more drink of this body. I'm going to try to refuel my electric lights. after this morning's excursion this morning's excitement I feel so alive after that so alive whoa 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 Or maybe it's just the fresh meat I ate with the fresh eggs I ate for brunch. Meat was never frozen, never even refrigerated. That was so good. It's like catching a fish and then just gutting it and throwing it on the fire. 
cooking it over an open fire. Oh, so good. Nothing like fresh fish. Never frozen. So fresh. <laughs> no, I cooked it. I did cook it. Same pan I cooked the eggs in. No, uh, tenderloins are one of the first things I get off a deer when I'm butchering. Um, and so that just came inside, got rinsed off. I cut it up into diced pieces. And then I let it soak on the stove with... Um, uh, I'm not allowed to keep it unless I pay a certain fee to keep it. How they would know, I don't know. I used to try to process it and keep the skin as leather, but I have, I have not. I don't have the right materials to do that. You have to get all the right, was it lye? I don't know what all you need to do. You have to stretch it and all this other stuff and I, I don't have the tools or the means to do that right now, so. Yeah. Right along with the bones. Except for the shoulders, I still have the shoulder bones. I didn't get the meat off the shoulders, but I got the meat off the rest of the carcass. I was even to, I was even able to um, set up the the stuff on the truck. We have this hoist thing for the back of the truck. It's been fantastic. We've been using that to butcher, to hang it in order to do the butchering. And once we figure out what all we're going to do with it all, it'll get vacuum sealed and put in the freezer for later. Hubby got a nice medium dough um, early season in September. So it's exciting. I'm so excited. back to the main color and the next four rows are all the main color but we leave this one attached for clue to uh, Thursday it goes us tomorrow to work on something else I don't know what not sure. Not sure. Pokemon community game. A wild Yanma appears cash at using Poke Cash in the 90s. I traded a Yanma <laughs> this morning. Mirror Stepper. Poke Cash Netball. Although mine didn't have blue wings like that. 
I wonder if that's a different... Uh, I click on it and it looks like that, but if I don't click on it, it doesn't look like that. It is a bug, a winged bug. Cave fibers. Oh, cash great ball. Obviously, winged bug. And I caught it. Yes. Siri bot. Oh, cash. Defunct braid reason spam detected. Good bot. Good bot, Siri. Good bot. Cave fibers. Siri, good bot. Siri's a good bot. Pokemon a sp community game. Spammer in our chat. Ah, uh, I'm sorry you didn't catch it too, Knitter Girl. Or mirror. I think mirror also threw a ball at that. Y'all should have caught it too. Okay, it's disappointing when only one of us catch it. When there's, you know, three or four players. Just saying. It's a little aggravating. Just a little. Oh, I got 15 minutes. I can't get four rows done in 15 minutes. They're 300 and I don't know. 357 stitches. Not that I counted. <laughs> Not that I counted. Thursday too, he said, comes the mohair dare. I got the uh, Crystal Palace Fizz yarn I'm going to use as my mohair dare. Um, I don't feel like buying mohair, so this is more of a, more of an eyelash kind of yarn, but it's what I got. It's so that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> Win, lose, draw. I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm going to use. Take that one off. Switch around. Mean color. Knit three. Make one. Three, four. Okay, this one here. I'm gonna follow it all the way down and go down to here. Okay, glasses off so I can see up close. was an increased stitch way down below. And that's where we're going. To draw up our loop. We drop that. Let it run down. Let me grab a fix it tool here. Drop. 
already dropped it. That one, let it run down, and we're gonna grab, oops, grab that stitch there. A blue yarn has a little bit of a fuzz to it, so it doesn't wanna, it wants to keep catching on itself. want it to look like that. Bum 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 bum. Three, four, five. We're at the one we're gonna drop. Let it run down to this point here. Siri Bob. A one five minute ad break is starting. Thank you for sticking with us through this break. Ads help support my ad content. Consider subscribing break. to remove ads and support the stream. To drop two, not one. I only want to drop Sorry. one. The ad break is finishing now. We'll come back from ads. I was just thinking maybe it'd be just as easy to get my fix it tool hook in here. And use that to grab the yarn. All these bubbles. Boop, 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 boop. It's a bubble. Car drove by a little slow, <laughs> a little suspect. <laughs> Usually everybody zooms by, including UPS and FedEx. We're going to do this all the way across. Net five, drop one, 
That's it. Eight rows below. Do that all the way across. Cable. Three, four, five. Drop. Give it the runs. Stop it there. Next five. Bum, 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 bum. I don't feel like I need that anymore. Put it away. The time is right. Yes. So next week, well, there will not be a stream on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure about Thursday at this time. I will definitely uh, try to put it in announcements in the Discord on what's happening. God, I'm so, so excited. Pokemon Community Game. A wild pincer appears cash it using Pokemon Cash in the 90s. Crafty Lady 2019. Crafty Lady! Hello! <laughs> like, where's my glasses? They're on my shoulder. How are you? Rare Parrot, huh? Welcome to Cape Fibers. I hope you enjoy the stream. 
Yeah, throw a great ball. P-I-N. Pincer. Is it just a bug? It looks like an, a nasty biting bug. Look at those teeth. Nasty teeth. Nasty teeth. We want to crush this bug. Just crush it. How are you, crafty lady? <laughs> okay. Three, four, five. I'm gonna drop that one. Let it run down. Hello, crafty lady. Twenty nineteen. We had a very exciting morning, crafty lady. I filled my deer tag this morning. Oh. Why was I only the the only one? Really, PCG, come on. Crafty Lady 2019. I'm just getting my so. server set up for Hello Scream 3 Minecraft. Hello Scream 3. Nice. Crafty Lady 2019. No, I've never played I'm Minecraft. I've never played. Never played Fortnite. <laughs> never did any of the Sims things. Sony Stitcher 1989. Bubbles. Yep, we're making bubbles. Boop and boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. Hello, Sunny. I feel like it's a fidget toy. <laughs> Pushing the bubbles one way and pushing the bubbles the other way. How you doing, Sonny? We're going to end stream early today. I need to go find the arrow that I shot <laughs> this morning. I don't know how long the end will be lit up. I, do, I did have a, a light up knock on it. I'm so proud of myself. Went out by myself. I got the deer all by myself. I drug it out all by myself. <laughs> Had it been a bigger deer, um, I would have been asking somebody for help. I mean, like, um, can you help me, please? Please come help me. <laughs> I got a deer and I can't get it out of the wood. And I can't... And in the state of Ohio, you're not allowed to leave the carcass unattended without being tagged. So I couldn't leave it. I wasn't going to leave it. That's that's me in my freezer. Sunny Stitcher 1989. I'm doing pretty good. I am halfway One, two, three, through the second four, part five, of the first clue. Going six, to pick up some more paint today to finish seven. off some new shelving for my yard room too. Ooh, nice. Sounds fantastic. I'm, I made meat today. <laughs> I made meat today. I'm very excited. So my Ohio hunt is over. But I still have opportunities in Michigan. So those will those opportunities are gonna come next week. Father in law said that Wednesday is a good day. So I'll be taking Tuesday off and Wednesday off. And we're gonna play Thursday by ear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do I poke here? Nope, next one down there. Wee, yeah, 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 Bubbles. Seven, 
That's the eighth one there. Get this to run the rest of the way down. Today was the, the best day to go out. Had the had the whole was it sixty three acres all to myself. It was fantastic. Nobody else there. I went to a different spot than I normally go to. So got three more rows to do after this. Oh, good question. Yay, Siri bot got another spammer. Second spammer of the day. Wow, they are on full force today. I've had what eight phone calls now, and two two spammers in stream. This is horrible. It's getting ridiculous. Siri bot, good job. Yeah, <laughs> good bot. Bot is catching them. I can't always watch chat. That's why I have the text to speech speech bot, as well as what I have four four mods now, and hubby is home. After I finish this row, I'm going to go look for my arrow and hopefully solicit hubby's help. Or if he wants to do it before his shower, I'll have to ask him. Funny, I just got the notification that hubby arrived home. Usually I get the notification before he's backing in the driveway. I saw him first this time. Let's see to the last four.
sure I'm stabbing in the right place. Stabby, stabby. Is Sunny working on this too? Or do we know? Oh, maybe she got busy. Alright, y'all, we're gonna figure out who we're gonna raid off to. I need to uh, head out. See if I can find my, my arrow. I'm almost to the end of my row, too, so. Oh, good. Where do we want to go to, y'all? Where do we want to go? I don't normally end this early. Please say hello to Mr. Fiber for me. Yep, he's he's in the door. He's playing a video very loudly in the other room. Um um, um, um. Really, Twitch? Really? Lady Cricket Bug is streaming. Yarn Crafted Coroner is streaming. I have not raided Yarn Crafted Corner in a hot minute. Let's do that. I think she is doing uh, all of her jump rink stuff. Her um, chain mail. She makes a lot of beautiful chain mail stuff. If you guys haven't checked her out, let's let's go there and check her out. Raid. She also does a lot of spinning and weaving and stuff. Well, spinning. I think she does tatting too. In case you get left behind. Here's a shout out for her as well. And the raid call. Copy that raid call as we head on over. I normally don't end stream this early, but I just need to. I'm feeling a little anxious about finding my arrow. Hopefully we can find it. Um, it's been a very exciting morning. Thank you, Elizabeth Pandish, so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your stream. I will be on uh, probably a good full day tomorrow. Um, We'll get that in. So bye y'all. Have a great afternoon.